Well, good morning, guys. It's coffee chit chat time. Um, this is kind of a new setup, right? Um, I'm right by my window by my bed, and I don't know, the lighting's kind of funky. It's either too bright or too dark, but um, we'll just adjust it as we go. Um, yeah, so I'm still just out in the desert, enjoying nature, enjoying the sunshine. Uh, I'm gonna head home and have my rig looked at and probably spend time with family here soon. So that's what's going on. Um, yeah, I still feel like I have a couple assignments out in the desert and uh, one of them did not go so well. So, um, you know, and that's part of, you know, what I do and stuff, praying for people. There's gonna be people who are just not receptive and, uh, or have had church hurt and just, um, you know, just, don't want anything to do with God, you know? And um, I've never had somebody say no before, so it was a little hurtful. Um, but I have to remember they're not rejecting me, they're rejecting Christ in me. So yeah, I had all the details of um, who it was. So I went there, um, it was actually a camp host, and I don't wanna say where this man is, but it was a camp host and uh, you know, I just told him that I had a word from God for him and he uh, he didn't want to hear it. So I had to respect his boundaries, his privacy and everything. So, um, and it was funny because in the notes that I had was that his heart was shattered and he's been hurt and um, he doesn't trust women. And I thought, isn't like, like God, are you sure you're sending the right person? Like here's a person who doesn't trust women and you're, I'm a woman. And you're, and you're sending me, you know, um, but God knows what he's doing. You know, sometimes you're not the only person that's ministering and witnessing to someone. And so, um, you're just planting a seed. You're just watering the seed and, you know, it's up to God to, you know, do his part. And so you just be obedient, you know, you just do your part and you let him take care of the rest. And so, um, you know, obviously he's got family praying for him, but yeah, he had been hurt in the church when he was younger and he just doesn't want any part of it. And so you just pray, you just love on someone like that. You know, you just continuously show the love of Christ, uh, to someone and, um, and God will soften their heart, you know, and, um, eventually, you know, curiosity too would get a hold of him and say, you know what, I'm just curious, like, what is the word you have? for me, you know, and basically it was just Jesus loves him, you know, to be simple. It's Jesus loves you. You know, that's, it's just that simple. Some, but sometimes people just need to know that they're loved, um, that they're seen and, uh, that the aches and the hurts and the trauma that they've experienced, it, it's not from God, you know, God, what is, he's not that the author of that. So, a lot of times the enemy will lie to somebody and say, God doesn't love you. God abandoned you. God, you know, didn't protect you, but that's not true. You know, um, sometimes the enemy just, you know, he uses weak and wounded people to hurt other people. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's sad. It's unfortunate, but God turns it around. You know, God always turns it around for our good. Um, so yeah, I just pray for him because, you know, you never know when it's your last day, you know, I never know, like I could go back there and he could be gone. And at least God tried to encounter him, you know, another time. And so I would feel bad or guilty or, um, you know, I, I would feel like I didn't do my part if I wasn't obedient and shared what, um, I had and, what I knew and you know it's almost like if you see a, a diesel truck coming down the road and someone's gonna step in the road you know are you just gonna let them walk into the road you're gonna warn them you're gonna tell them they're still gonna have free will to make their choice but um, you know if you see danger coming you tell people because you love them you know and you care about people but at the end of the day they have free will so that's what it comes down to Anyways, I can't believe I have all you guys in my bed. Get out of here. Get off my bed. <laughs> Get out of my bed. Okay, just one rule. No jumping in my bed. 
I don't need no monkeys jumping in my bed. Um, yeah, so yeah, this is my comfy cozy bed and I was just too lazy to set up my camera over there on my counter and do all that stuff because I would have to bring my slide in and all that and Roxy's sleeping and it was just a lot. <laughs> a lot in my life. It's not a lot in a regular person's life. But uh, yeah, so I thought, well, I'll just do a little video while I'm in bed. And I didn't even know what I was going to talk about. Um, I never really know. I wish I did. I wish I knew what I was doing. Um, but yeah, just want to say hello. Um, my coffee chit chats are live, so I can't show you the scenery or tell you where I'm at. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful here and the birds are chirping. And can you hear that? You probably, you guys probably can't hear it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to enjoy my coffee and enjoy my day. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.